hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in the couple of videos we are discussing about aws automation with python boto 3 and lambda function and this is the part 3 of the video series okay so in this particular uh, part we are going to set up the environment required for the boto 3 okay so what environment do we need right so that is the first thing that we get so let's say if you want to interact with aws so manually what are the things that we need right so we need an aws account and we need username and password right but in boto 3 we are just automating the process right in the same way that we provide username and password we also need to specify our script you will have to log into this particular account and authenticate using so and so username and or tokens or whatever that you have whatever the secrets or whatever the passwords or uh, username that you have you need to provide that and you need to authenticate right that you need to do it but how will you do it right so in aws we have something called as access key and secret access key so it is just like your username and password okay so only you know when you are accessing programmatically when you are accessing aws programmatically you can use those keys and you can access your aws environment okay so that step is required right now and we are going to do that okay so for doing this we need to install an one more tool called aws cli okay so let's imagine if you are having a windows laptop how many ways you can access a folder inside a laptop one through gui right so you open folders you click on it uh, open the folder in the same way you also use command line right cmd cmd this is how it looks so we'll open up this one and you say dir and you open up a specific folder or a directory that you want in the same way AWS also we can access one through console. So this is my AWS console I can access it here and I can create resources here in the same way I can also access it via command line command line of AWS is nothing but your AWS CLI It is a command line interface. It is used to unified, you know basically manage your AWS services. It is a tool Okay, so it is an unified tool which you can use to ma manage your aws services right you can download it via uh, the official uh, aws documentation i am uh, dropping the link to that here in the document uh, uh, in the doc document that i have so if you go over here you can install it for linux right you just have to run this command so and you can download it in the same way if you want to install it for uh, mac or windows you have the installation procedure i am not going over these things because it is pretty straightforward everything that you need to do here is specified in the documentation itself aws documentation so i'm not going over that right so after installing aws cli you will have to configure it right so you will have to configure the cli how how do you configure it right so for that first let us go ahead and create a new iam user if you do not know what is an iam user go and watch our previous videos in my uh, playlist you will get to know what is an iam user okay so now let us go ahead and create a new iam user in my aws management console okay so i'm in my aws console i'll go to iam I'll go to users, add user, I'll just say username as Boto3, okay, because we are using Boto3, right, Boto3 user, okay, I'll just specify Boto3 user and I'll only give programmatic access because this is accessed via programmatically, right, so I'll only give programmatic access, next permissions. I'll uh, directly attach an existing policy. So here, if you see, I'm going to give administrator access. So this user will be used for many things. So I'm going to use administrator access. I'll select administrator access here and click on next tags. 
okay next review next create the user okay after you create the user you will get the access key and the secret access key okay so if i click on show here it will show you the show me the uh, similarly you are seeing access key right in the same way it will have a lengthy secret access key also you can download it and keep it or you can also download that in a csv format okay so let me just copy this one and place it into one of my text file okay so let me copy this and i'll just paste it here okay so this is my access key I'll just say access key and I'll also get my uh, secret access key. So I'll just copy this one and I'll paste it below and I'll just say secret key. Okay. So we are done. Now we have got the access key and also the secret access key. Okay. So let me go back to my console and click on close. Now, previously I was having only one user with the name Yashwan, but now we have created another user called Boto3 user, right? So a minute ago, all right? And we also got the credentials for that. Let's go back to our documentation and see what we can do. Okay, so the next step is to configure the credential. So you can configure it by using AWS configure. You, you can just type in AWS configure and provide all the details. Basically, it will ask you for the access key, secret key, and what is the default region and what is the default output. So basically, you can provide that later. Okay. And let's say you have many environments or many users that are accessing programmatically, then it is better to create a profile for each and every one of them. If you go with AWS configure, what it will do, it will create a default profile, not a, a specific profile it will not going to create. In order to create a specific profile, you can use this one, AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile dev. Let's say we have three users, dev, QA and prod. In that situation, you can create three per IM users and specify separate credentials for all the three users, right? So this is also possible. But I'm going with this method only. So I'll just select, uh, I'll just copy this one, I, I, AWS configure and I'll provide the details. Okay, so let me go back to my Visual Studio. So you can, you can do it anywhere you want. Okay, so I'll just say AWS configure. Okay, so after typing it, it will ask you for the AWS secret key. So you can specify the secret key here. Okay, so don't worry, uh, don't confuse that you only have to use Visual Studio. No, you can actually do it uh, via command prompt also. But I'm good with this one, so I'm using this. Okay, so I'll just specify the uh, access key that I've copied. Okay, and I'll hit enter. Later on, I need to specify the secret access key also. Let me copy that. If you see secret key, I'll just paste that and hit enter. And it is asking for default region name. So in my case, I had already created a user. So it is uh, telling uh, US East one. So I'm good with that. I'll, uh, I'll specify the same thing US East one and I'll hit enter output format. I'll just say JSON. If you want to leave that as default, you can leave that as default also. Let me hit enter and we are done, right? So we have now configured the required things that are needed to work with your Boto3. Okay, so that step is done. So we have completed this step. Now let us go to our first automation script, which is going to list all the IAM users in our AWS account. Okay, first to understand this one, let us go over it manually. So let us manually see how we can get all the IAM users in our account by manually logging into AWS console and getting this details. Okay, so let me go to my uh, AWS console. So after you log in, after you log into AWS, the first thing that you will get to see is called as management console. This is my AWS management console, right? Here I can access many resources like I am like we have EC2, we have route 53 VPC. There are 200 plus services that are available in AWS and we can access them in the management console. Basically, if you go to uh, services here, you can select all the different services, whichever you want, and you can access particular service, right? But my intention is to access IAM console. 
so basically iam users are present in iam console itself right so let me go to iam so in iam i do not only have users i also have user groups i also have roles i have policies identity providers account settings there are many things that i have right so in here in those things or these uh, concepts i only want to check different users that are available right so i'll go into users and i'll see what are the different users so i have yes one that i have port of three user that we just created right so that if you want to write that in a step if you see first thing first step is to get to my aws management console using this link right so log in to your um, management console using the link that you have right next is to go to your iam console and inside iam console we have many options we have users we have groups we have roles we have policies and in that we are only interested in learning about users right so this is what we were checking users so this is the manual step that you have right in the same way if you want to do it programmatically so you can write the step also okay so if you see this is the manual step that we have written if you want to do write the same thing in a script or a boto3 script you will have to do these things okay i'll just explain what i have done here okay first things first i have to import the boto3 boto3 is a module or an sdk to interact with aws because i need that if if you do not have that boto3 imported then how will you interact with aws right i will have to use that right next i am opening my after importing boto3 the after providing the username and password to your management console or your aws.amazon.com so the first thing that you land is management console right so here also i'm opening my management console so but i'm doing in a programmatic way so aws underscore management underscore console so this is just a variable you can give any name but just to understand i'm giving this name so that everyone can understand right so boto3 i'm using boto3 this is the module that is used to interact with aws so i'm using that one and i'm opening a new session right with the profile name default what the default profile we created if you remember so this is the default profile that we configured right by by using aws configure we pro, uh, we created a default profile right so that is what i'm specifying here next after getting into your management console the next thing that we did is to get into your iam console right so that is what even i am here doing iam console how you can go to iam console by using management console only right so if i go back here so this is your management console and if this is your management console you will go ahead and type in i am here or recently visited or in the services right that is what here we are doing so i am console in the management console we are opening the i am console okay and which resource there are many resources but we are only using i am right so that is what i am specifying if you want to interact with the s3 console you can just write s3 or ec2 you can just say ec2 right so i am using i am so i am specifying i am here okay now after getting into i am console we had many options like users roles groups policies and everything right so if you see here let me go back to my i am console in my i am console if you see i have many options here but my interest is to get in this user right i'll just click on user and i'll get in here right but programmatically if you want to do it so if you have multiple users if you have multiple things to do the similar things if you want to repeat it again and again in python what we use we use for loop or loops basically so that is what even i am using here for each user this is just a variable in this console okay under console i am console which i am using i am using users basically i am seeing all the users right so that is why i am specifying i am console dot users dot all right so next thing what i am doing is i am printing all the users their name right this is what i am doing right 
I hope uh, you understood it. So now let me just run this script. Okay, so I'll just run with script. Now after running, let's wait for the output. If you see the output is giving Boto3 and Yashwant. Boto3 user and Yashwant. So if you go back to your console and check, we have two users. One is Boto3 and one is Yashwant, right? So this is how, this is our simple Boto3 script to list all the users in your uh, EC2, uh, sorry, AWS console, right? I hope you understood this one. So this is first step towards learning or automating your AWS resources, right? So I hope you enjoyed learning along with me if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one